So today we're going to be taking a look at the Old Republic Trooper based upon their appearance from the 2008 Old Republic game and it's a great action figure. It's uh, definitely one of the highlights of the vintage collection and fortunately I do have both the original release and the re-release here to show you. Um, there are technically three different versions which I'll get into here in a little bit. Uh, like I said this is probably one of the highlights of the vintage collection unfortunately it has been very scarce especially the original release uh, especially if you bought it carded a lot of times it can go way up in the hundreds and fortunately Hasbro from a fan vote uh, has re-released it and it's gone down in price a little bit since then but I'm sure based upon the popularity of the character and the popularity of the action figure that uh, go back up in price so if you've been wanting to get this action figure now is probably about the best time you can get it uh, so if you didn't know uh, of course these are in the Old Republic game but uh, this particular character mostly appears in the trailer which features a battle on Alderaan and we'll get into that a little bit more here in a bit but first uh, we'll take a look at the package first I do have an extra one carded here, and this is the re-released package. Mostly the same thing, except for the Disney logo and the action feet or the action figures featured on the back. And something we've been getting uh, with a few of the online exclusives recently is an unpunched card. We haven't seen that since the first round of TVC back in the day. Glad that Hasbro was uh, doing this every now and then. For some of these figures especially ones that look good carded very nice image of the trooper there definitely one of the best packagings we've gotten for tvc to date and he looks really good in the card spanning universe logo glad it uh lucasfilm and hasbro are not totally doing away with that and this was originally VC-113, one of the last action figures that you can get in the original run. And this was an online exclusive at the time, at least for the U.S. So very few Americans got it at the time. I do have a lot of these reviewed on the channel. I'll get the Yoda and Bo-Katan eventually. And... Yeah. So that's the package. Uh, show you both of them side by side. Not really a huge difference between the re-release and the original. The biggest difference I noticed is in the visor. This one's a lot more prevalent. And as you can see, the paint is a little bit different on each visor. I'll show you these two side by side. You can see that one's a little bit more slanted, a little more finer. Well, this one's a lot more of a thicker visor. So they're not very consistent among each of the action figures. So something to watch out for. Other than the visor and then the original doesn't have the photo real tech while this one does. And I'll show you that here in a second. Other than those two really not a difference in the action figures at all to me it looks like it's the same shade same coat of paint nothing really too different between the two it's very colorful armor it's a very robust action figure as well it's a uh, very heavy, a lot heavier than you think it might be. And I did mention earlier in the video as well that there is a third release. This was originally supposed to be released in the 2013 three and three quarter inch black series line. And that figurine just disappeared for many years. Uh, nobody knew what the fate of it was. It, it just kind of quietly got canceled. But then in Italy, around 2016, a lot of these started showing up in the Black Series packaging there at random 
brick and mortar stores and uh, small mom and pop shops. So it did manage to make its way around into Italy. Um, nowhere else as far as I know. And as far as I know as well, it's just the same exact action figure as the original TBC release. So it's one of those mystery releases that we've gotten over the years. And that one's a fairly affordable action figure, uh, at least compared to the original that is. Still not, you still probably can't get it for retail, but you're going to get it for much cheaper than the original at least. But as far as I know, there's really nothing too new or unique about that. Uh, just show you what they look, their heads look like. They focus here a little bit. The photo reel turned out really nice on this. I'm very surprised. Most of the time when Hasbro re-releases an action figure with photo reel, it doesn't turn out very well. And I have seen some samples of this where it doesn't look quite as well, but fortunately for mine, it looks really nice. Definitely an upgrade from the original, as you can see there. And that scar he has on his head is painted a little different too. Looks more like a flesh wound on this one, while this one almost looks like they just painted a white line on him. And you can see this character, like I said, in the Alder Battle of Alderaan, uh, Battle of Alderaan trailer for the Old Republic game. You see Satil Sean and uh, Darth Malgus get injured in that trailer as well. Uh, but anyways, we'll take a look at some of the accessories. He's very ex accessory heavy. So he comes with this knife. Great sculpting detail on it. And he holds it very well. Has a very good grip on it. Comes with this pistol. Again, a very unique piece. And then he comes with a rotary cannon. Very good detailing in this as well. His sheave here is also removable and his knife there fits very well. And he also has the holster for the blaster here. As you can see is right there fits very well and i think technically the mag extra magazines he has here can pop out of his bandolier here too but i'm not going to risk breaking that but it does look like there's a peg there for that So in terms of the articulation, very standard for TBC, ball joint at the neck, hinged shoulders, hinged elbows, not quite 90 degrees, but that's fine. Uh, sw swivel wrists, has a hinged torso, then swivel hips, then hinged knees and hinged ankles as well. Uh, but other than that, that's all there is to say about this action figure. Uh, it's a great release. Like I said, it's one of the highlights of TVC to date, and I would highly recommend this for your collection. At the time of this video, this is probably still one of the best times you can get it. I do check the price on eBay every now and then, and I do see it go between the $20 and $30 range for one, the re-release that is. If you get the original carded, you're going to be paying way over $100 for it. 
still. And then the Italian release uh, from the Black Series, I sometimes see go for like the $50, $60 range. Um, so it is an expensive action figure and right now is probably about the best time you can get it. Within the next few years, it's probably going to shoot back up in price. And even if you get the re-release, it's probably going to be way up in the hundreds even. Um, I don't understand why Hasbro put such scarcity on these type of action figures. They would have to know that the old Republic Troopers should be in high demand. But who knows, maybe it's expensive tooling as well. He comes with a whole lot of accessories and he has a unique sculpt that they can't really reuse any of the tooling for any other action figures. So maybe that's why they have such a shortage on the quantities that they produce for these. Perhaps that's the reason. Uh, but anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for many re more reviews in the future. There's going to be plenty more to come. And if you have not already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. And thanks for watching.